But hold on to your hats, guys, because the story is about to get more complicated. A bombshell has just been dropped by Congress, which involves declaring war on the eligibility of immigrants to get Social Security payments. This has sparked a heated debate that is going to set the Internet ablaze. As we evaluate the astounding discoveries that have come straight from the halls of power, you should get ready to dig headfirst into the heart of the problem. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various economic stimulus packages. I am Alai, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. What's up? Let's get right down to business. We are about to embark on an in-depth exploration of the fascinating territory of Social Security. Because the clock is ticking and the Social Security funds are going to run out in less than a decade, the question that is on everyone's mind is whether or not non-citizens and immigrants should be eligible for these benefits. The United States Congress has just made its viewpoint crystal plain, stating that immigrants should not be eligible for Social Security payments. This brings their position in line with that of American citizens. Let's take a moment to backtrack and bring you up to speed on the most recent happenings. A recent warning was issued by Congress regarding a trend that is cause for concern. An astounding 1 million and 200,000 instances of illegal aliens using social security numbers that either belonged to someone else or were completely faked. As a result of this discovery, many people are in a state of shock and are beginning to question the legitimacy of the system. That being said, is it possible for immigrants and non-citizens to genuinely obtain benefits from Social Security? The answer is a resounding yes to our question. This video contains, for the purpose of demystifying the complexity of eligibility for non-citizens and immigrants, we will investigate the nuances of Social Security rules and regulations. Nevertheless, before we get any farther into the specifics, we would like to hear from you. Are you of the opinion that non-citizens and immigrants should be legally eligible to receive benefits from Social Security? In the comments section below, please share your ideas. The next stage in the process is to acquire a Social Security number, which is an essential step. In spite of the fact that some people might think that a Social Security number can only be obtained by citizens, this is not the case. Within the framework of the immigration process, the Social Security Administration, SSA, has established a procedure that enables individuals who are not citizens to submit an application for a Social Security number. In most cases, immigrants will submit applications for both a Social Security number and work authorization at the same time. These are two distinct transactions. On the other hand, Possessing a social security number is not sufficient on its own to secure permission for immigrants to work in the United States. It gets more complicated. It is no longer necessary for an immigrant to get a work permit once they have already obtained lawful permanent resident status. This is a significant development since it means that immigrants who have work permits or who earn lawful permanent resident status are now able to qualify for social security payments in the same manner as citizens of the United States. In order to be eligible, you will need to accumulate 40 credits of coverage. Essential point that must be kept in mind. However, here is the biggest catch. The issue of immigration is a significant one for social security, but it is not the one that you would be thinking about. There have been other reports that have come to the conclusion that the impact of immigration on Social Security extends beyond what is commonly believed. According to the findings of a poll that was carried out by the Nationwide Retirement Institute, pensioners consider issues such as inflation 
and the possibility of reductions in Social Security benefits to be their most significant concerns. Annual cost of living adjustments are intended to resolve the connection between inflation and Social Security, which is a connection that is entangled. To answer your question, what is the relationship between immigration and Social Security? It has come to light that the unfavorable impression of immigration that is frequently depicted in the media may not be the most accurate portrayal of the current scenario. The flow of illegal immigrants entering the United States is a topic that politicians constantly discuss. The southern border is a big problem, and there is an attempt being made by both parties to address this problem by passing a significant immigration reform measure. Legal immigration is a major cause for concern since it has the potential to place a burden on public services, particularly in situations where undocumented workers do not pay taxes. With legal migration, on the other hand, there are typically less concerns that are raised. On the other hand, a research that was published in 2023 by the Center for Immigration Studies argued that legal immigrants who were arriving to the United States the final years of S. This life could potentially cause issues for Social Security. Based on the findings of the analysis, it was recommended that these immigrants could potentially become burdens on the Social Security system, particularly if they are individuals with lower incomes. In contrast to what most people believe, lawful migration may really pose difficulties for Social Security. This is an intriguing possibility. According to the Center for Immigration Studies, legal immigrants who arrive later in life may be able to draw more money from Social Security than they pay to the system. Might potentially put a load on the system. This viewpoint is sophisticated and questions the common wisdom that has been prevalent. Right now, let's talk about the most obvious problem in the room. It is not what you might anticipate to be the most significant immigration issue facing Social Security. Remarkably, it is not illegal immigration that is causing the system to become depleted because there is not enough immigration. A portion of the funding for Social Security comes from the two trust funds that it has. Payroll taxes that are collected on a continuous basis finance the majority of the program's expenses. The harsh reality is that Social Security is currently dealing with a serious budgetary issue. The imminent depletion of trust funds has the potential to endanger the entire system, which in turn raises concerns about the system's ability to continue operating. Now that we have shifted our attention to Capitol Hill, let us investigate the viewpoint of Republicans on immigrants and Social Security fraud. One of the representatives emphasizes how significant the 